Hey guys, HTV here, and welcome back to another video going over Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. And today, guys, today, something huge did just drop. Two brand new trailers showcasing all the Elite Four, all of the gym leaders, red, blue, and green are in the game. Oh my lord, as soon as I saw that, I was just so excited to make this video. And I'm just so even more excited for the game has come out, red, blue, and green. Green, that's never really been in a Pokemon game before, apart from Fire and Leaf Green, is now in the yellow remake which is just insane cannot wait so if you guys are excited for the video drop a huge like down below leave a comment down below who are you looking forward to battling red blue or green the most and also subscribe if you're brand new because i do daily pokemon content on this channel with all of that out of the way though guys let's get into the trailer and start breaking it down for you guys so starting things off we have uh the players running through i think it's pewter city with an ivysaur and a squirrel a grand adventure across kanto so it's just kind of showing loads of different snippets of the different gameplay the different places in kanto before we get on to the exciting things that are brand new i was generally thinking if they were going to show all of the gym leaders and the elite four before the games came out or if they were just going to leave it as like a little surprise but they've actually showcased it all and the fact that they've showcased red blue and green all being in the game i'm so excited i cannot believe it. like being able to fight red in kanto is a little bit weird because red is obviously the hero of kanto and obviously blue the rival so it makes sense that we'll be able to battle them but you never know it's nice to have the confirmation but anyway first we've got sabrina now i love this gym layout it looks absolutely insane it's got like the background of the actual city of saffron in the background so i don't know if that's a hologram or an illusion or if the gym's just completely different um but she has an alakazam out so i'm not sure what a team is gonna be um the same as i'm not sure if it's gonna be like a based on a yellow team where she had an abracadabra and alakazam or it's gonna be based on a like a fire and leaf green team or whatever but i'm sure it will show us in a little bit but anyway battle your way through the gym leaders so obviously we've seen these four but now we've got all of these dudes as well though the ones that we knew about we obviously got sabrina we have kogo we have blaine i love blaine's tie so much like it's kind of like a a flame at the end of it but it's kind of also got like the scorch marks i think that's so cool sabrina's design looks absolutely insane koga looks incredible as well they've done such a good job with the artwork for these characters and i, I cannot wait to battle them and then team rocket as well defeat team rocket Giovanni is here now Giovanni um, I saw on Twitter people are talking about the fact that the silph scopes in the background here he also has paintings of his favorite Pokemon being Rhydon and Persian and he also has a Cubone down here as well now that's kind of interesting because obviously Giovanni does have a Kangaskhan on his team so maybe the fact that Cubone is linked with Kangaskhan in somewhat or maybe that he's got the Cubone because maybe when the Marowak passed away because obviously Team Rocket killed the Marowak uh, maybe he felt for some reason really bad for the Cubone and brought him with him who knows um, but it's just interesting to see that he actually has a Cubone down there. So maybe Giovanni has like a different pathway in this and maybe he becomes more of a, a good person quickly. Because obviously in the old games, once you beat him at the gym, that's when he's like, all right, I'm a disband Team Rocket. But, you know, maybe he has a, a good side in this because he obviously keeps the Cubone. Um, but obviously he just walks straight past him like nothing's happening. But anyway, he has a Persian right here. So defeat Team Rocket. Boom, all good stuff. And then we have here and challenge the Elite Four. So we got the Elite Four right here. The designs look incredible. We've got Lorelei, we've got Bruno, we've got Agatha, and then we have Lance as well. All looking tremendous as well, looking absolutely incredible. I think they've done such a good job with every single thing about this game. Like, yes, it's a remake of Kanto, but oh my Lord, the games look absolutely incredible. And we get to battle red and blue and green. Like, why wouldn't you want to do that? But of course, the main course is still not been served. We've had, we know, we've had a nice little starter. We've had a bit of an appetizer, but the main course is yet to be served. So anyway, look at this artwork, man. This artwork looks absolutely incredible. I am in love with this artwork. So we obviously have the two characters here. We have um, the Pikachu and the Eevee. Then we have Bruno with his Machamp, which is his ace. We have Lorelei with a Lapras. We have Lance with his Dragonite. We have Agatha with a Gengar. This picture is absolutely incredible. I think they've done such a good job with that. Then we have some Meltan gameplay, exciting characters, uh, both new and old and um, what do they mean by that well they mean that well okay they're still doing okay they're just still just doing a bit of mel metal battles you know that's good stuff good stuff but what we actually want to see is this we have blue right here i don't know when we're gonna battle blue if you do battle blue um this seems to be viridian city though i do believe maybe he comes to the gym before viridian city uh and maybe he's like oh i was the gym leader here or something like that maybe i could definitely see something like that being a thing um but yeah he he's right here just like in Viridian. Um, I'm sure you battle him. I'm sure you battle all of them at some point. He's doing the, the good old ching, like as he always does. Um, but yeah, that's blue being confirmed. But here we go. This kind of confirms that you battle them all. We have red. We have red in the game. We have red in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I'm trying to dis distinguish what the background is, but I can't really tell too much about it. There seems to be some sort of like just a tree there and some grass. So 
Who knows where you're battling? Who knows where you're battling? But you battle red in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. It doesn't say what his team is. It just shows like the battle um, kind of footage. But um, yeah, that's that's all we see of this. But then we also have green as well, who kind of turns around and then that's kind of it. It's kind of like a fade out or like a glow out or something. So we do have green. I have no idea where this is. I think it might be Cerulean Cave. Um, Cause it has these diamonds and stuff. And I think these were the kind of diamonds that were around you too. So maybe you battle Leaf in um, Cerulean Cave, which would make sense to be fair, because it's like post game kind of thing. But who knows? Maybe you battle like red and blue on the way or whatever, but it looks to me like this is Cerulean Cave just because of the diamonds and the similar ones. There's like pinkish red ones when you battle Mewtwo, but these seem to be like blue. So this is obviously the ladders as well. So this could be literally like the start of Mount Boom. But that is pretty much it for this trailer. I mean, I'm so excited like to see the Elite Four, to see all the gym leaders. Everything's been confirmed, man. It's crazy. And then we obviously have the Japanese trailer as well, which is a lot longer. Like this one's only like 40 seconds long. The Japanese trailer is two minutes long. This just goes up through like more gameplay and stuff. We've got Sabrina here, Mega Evolutions. Uh, we've got Pikachu there, Boom, Eevee. Uh, just all, all, all stuff that we've already seen, but I think there's a little bit more new gameplay in this as well We just got some more star Pokemon interactions. We don't have any new moves I don't think um, we just have like different situations like with this as well. We've already seen like um, Pikachu in this situation after beating Brock, but we got Eevee here And we have Nidoran here, which obviously confirms that Nidoran does appear here It just shows you more of the catching mechanics, which is awesome. We have a bit more of Mount Moon um, We obviously have Zubats there, Clefairy, nothing really new there and then this is obviously from the English trailer that was taken. Uh, I think the English trailer might just start here. We have this though, which I've not seen before. This probably is just the screen that shows that like um, you're trading with Go or something like that. Because now we're in the Go part. We have Electabuzz here. We have Omastar in the background, Clefairy, uh, Blastoise, Charizard, a Lickitung or something or a Chansey, I don't know. Um, but then we have the a bunch more Pokemon. Again, Alolan Pokemon because obviously you can get Alolan Pokemon in these games. Boom, we have Misty's Gym. We have Lieutenant Surge's Gym. I, I hope it shows. I haven't actually seen the Japanese trailer, so I hope it shows a little bit more of the other gyms, but I don't know if it will or not. We've got Erica. Again, more just gym battles with the ones we've already seen. I don't think it's going to show anything. It might show. I hope it does, please. We've got Team Rocket. Uh, we already know about that. Jesse and James. Boom. we got the Cubone again. Again, like I say, I'm not sure why he has a Cubone. That's definitely very interesting to think about because, like I say, Team Rocket do um, kill the Marowak. Um, so maybe he just feels really bad and takes the Cubone because obviously Cubone is really upset, you know, that his mother's just been killed. So, and then we have Persian against Pikachu. Only has two Pokemon. That's just being okay. So only has two Pokemon. So he's obviously gonna have a Persian. Might have a Kangaskhan or a Rhydon or something like that. But I can't remember his yellow team. I don't know if he only had two Pokemon on his yellow team. I really don't know. Again, a bigger picture of of the amazing artwork that this right here. Oh, this looks so nice. And we have a, a, a horsey here, just more stuff. Battles, battles, battles. Mew here. Obviously, you got to get the Pokeball Plus to get Mew. Um, which is a bit of a problem because obviously the Master Trainer Mew, you can only really battle if you buy the Pokeball Plus, which is a little bit of a meh. Uh, but then we obviously have Gary, uh, well, Blue, Red, Leaf, and then um, some more Mew gameplay here, just telling you about the Pokeball Plus. But I think this is obviously the final trailer before Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee come out. I think we're probably going to do like one trailer afterwards about Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee just to kind of like try and make you buy it a little bit more. But um, honestly, I am over the moon of, of this trailer. Obviously, the English trailer shows you all the actual stuff you need. Like Sabrina's gym, again, looks incredible. Saffron City in the background. Don't know if that's an illusion or what. It probably is because she's like a psychic type gym leader. And we have Koga, Blaine. We don't really see anything of their gym. We see a little bit of this gym in the background. Uh, do we see a little bit of Koga's? I'm not really too sure. It's just kind of like, it's all blurred out. So you can't really see. Um, Giovanni. We don't know if obviously, we don't know if Giovanni's the last gym leader. Because, to be fair, it shows these four, then it shows these three, and then it just says defeat Team Rocket. Like, it doesn't actually show that Giovanni's the final gym leader. So I definitely think that's going to be some sort of surprise. Maybe Blue is the gym leader. Maybe maybe that's why he's standing outside of Iridium. Um, that would actually make a lot of sense, to be fair, because... Where is he? Where's Blue? Uh, Blue is... Blue's right here. It does look like Viridian City. So maybe you get to Viridian and then he maybe he's the gym. That'd actually make a, that'd actually make so much sense. Let me know what you guys think about that because it doesn't show all the gym leaders. It doesn't say that Giovanni's the final gym leader. Blue's standing right outside the Viridian City gym. Um could make sense. It would definitely make sense. And then obviously Red's over here. Red could be on the way to the Elite Four, maybe. Because this could be the Elite Four. Uh, uh, this could be like that. Um, you know where you battle your rival to the left of Viridian City? Where you just before the Elite Four. This could definitely be there. That could definitely be a thing. And then obviously Mount Moon, uh, not Mount Moon, Celadon Cave, uh, Cerulean Cave, oh my lord, finally. 
Um, could be where you battle green. So that could be the places where you find them. I don't know. I'm just throwing things into the air. But that could definitely be something that we have to think about. But that is everything for this video, guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, drop a like down below. Let me know what your favorite part of this trailer was. Dude, seeing red, blue, and green is insane. But also let me know what you think about my theory that blue might be the last gym gear. I might make a video on about it, actually. I'm not sure. Probably won't because I kind of just explained it all here. But, guys, that is everything from me. Hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're brand new. I do daily Pokemon content on this channel. But with all of that out of the way, let's get, uh, let's get into the video. Thank you for watching. And until next time, peace.